that's a nasty bee. La niña menea, menea su cadera, menea su cadera, menea su cadera. Wait, let me change something. Someone says, play Tito. Ray, I can't do that. Don't ask me for the things that I could not give you. Not at this moment, because you know. You know. Wait, should I play Tito? Oh my gosh. Well, here's the thing about Tito. Okay, here's the thing about Tito. It's a song that I made. And it was on a version of the album. And then last minute... I'm, this is crazy. Last minute, right before. So I made Tito with Boys Noise and Gara the Pusher. We made it here in Barcelona. And I've never played it. But some reviewers have it. So there was a version of the album that had one more song. And that song was Tito. And I last minute was like, no, I'm going to save that one for kick two. So I just like pulled her. But because I wanted to keep kick one tight. I have a plan. Like, I know that you're like, what is she doing? But girl, I'm thinking long term, so how did it leak? I know how it leaked. It's not a problem. Baby, there's the story and then there's the official story. You can be one of the girls that knows that it leaks, but in 10 years, 20 years, when you look back on an album, it'll be like, oh, that one leaked? Like, it's the official girl that's going to be the girl. Like, you can be in the moment, and you can carry and be like, Haha, I already heard her album. It's like, yeah, but I'm making the albums for discographies. I'm not thinking about the moment. Like, I'm thinking about retrospectives before I die. Like, I'm trying to be ambitious. So when the girls are like, your shit leaked, I was like, okay, well, the girls that are going to wait are going to wait. They're cool. The girls that are not waiting, they're fine. Like, it's enthusiasm, I get it. I've downloaded leaks. To be honest, it's all good. The point is that kick is too important for me to be like worried or stressed about a leak. I'm like, okay, the music, I believe in the music. I'm not that sad that the music is out there because I believe in the music. It's like, it's gonna come out formally. We're doing videos, we're doing moments. So here we go. Anyway, Tito, I never played it, but I would love to play it. Oh my gosh. Uh, <laughs> Wait, but you're gonna scream because then you're gonna be like, oh, why didn't you put it on kick one? Or maybe you're gonna be like, thank God she didn't put it on kick one. But you know what? It's that someone who I really rate, someone who of whose opinion I really rate, um, listened to it and they were like, this isn't it. This track is not it. And so I got cold feet. I didn't want to be impulsive. I didn't want to throw a track. 
have this track list for kick one that was like sealed for so long and then last minute i was like oh i want to add like one last song i did that with desafio desafio was a last minute add-on to self-titled i was like the, so the album's too sad like let me add a banger or try to add like a up tempo same one with um same thing with tiro i was like let me make a banger let me make a la 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 and but this time i pulled it and this time I pulled it and it because I was like I have the other kicks I'd rather have each kick be tight than to be sloppy at this point because I'm doing it too cute to like mess it so it's not that I don't like the song but I think if that person that I played it for was like oh this song is it like keep it then I would have maybe probably like thought about it a little bit more but at some point in time I was like okay that's all I needed like someone whose opinion I'm into it's like, let me just, like, go slow. But I can play it. I mean, radio, it's Radio Diva. Let's see. I'll tease it. I'll tease it. I won't play full, because I know you're on the edge of your seat. Radio Diva! Wait, no, oh my gosh, yo, yeah, 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 I can't, I can't do it, I can't, oh my gosh, I can't, 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 no, someone say, wait, no, I'll play a little bit, don't carry. Wait. <laughs> Daddy Yankee, no, Daddy Yankee is never canceled. Daddy Yankee is forever. Don't carry. No, 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 no. Daddy Yankee, rompe, rompe. So yeah, I was like, kick one is more that is more like, it's more. There's a there's a very subtle balance. Like you're gonna get make a trefe. Wait, what did I say? But that's that moment. And then I'm gonna I'm gonna wait for this one. I'm gonna wait for this one because it just has to be. I'm pacing it. I have this vision, but it's you know that that one's around. You know we were partying in the studio. Oh snap! I can play another one that I've never played. I can play another one that I've never made with Mark Luba, a producer. Uh, um, he's so fab. 
Oh, he's gonna be so. I think he's gonna be into um, playing it. So if you make a story of this track, tag Mark Luba. He's an amazing producer based in Bilbao. You know Mark Luba? Anyone knows? He's in the look. Yeah, Mark Luba's in the look. So you ready? This one's called Alto Voltaje. We literally, Mark Luba, like I'll type it in. Mark Luba. Yeah, he works with La Soy. Basically, we had, we met through a mutual friend and he's really awesome. I get along with him so well. He's so sweet. He's just so talented. He's so fab. So we met that day and we made a track. Same day we met. And that same day we met, imagine meeting someone that, I hopped on the stage that night. He was playing a gig here in Barcelona with La Zoe. And I was like, Are you? he's like, I'm going to play the song. And I was like, well, pass me a mic because I'll make some noise. And no, with a V. And um, and this is the track that we, we met. <laughs> the mosquito killer just went off. Basically, Radio Diva, without further ado, Alto Voltaje. Alto voltaje, radio diva, experimental. Ah. Wait, I don't want to break your speaker. Let me let me change the EQ because it was exploding. Radio diva, alto voltaje with Mark Luba. Ah. <laughs> Breastfed Federation. Radio Diva. A lo hecho, pecho. Adelante. Lo atrás. Pecho adelante. Damn, this one's crazy. Lesbiana. Lesbiana. I'm gonna make a story. Daddy. You want me to play Moreno? Okay, I can play that one. That one's crazy. Oh, you're requesting songs? Let's do song requests. Moreno. A ver. Oh, wow. That track is... I can't believe you asked for that one. 
Okay, this is Morena. This was gonna be on self-titled. You know, the girls that just get like, you simplify the album. Thank you for cheering, Shibar. Dondoka, thank you for subbing. That's very sweet. Emerald Koala, thank you for resubbing. Mitsuki Stan, welcome. Thank you for following. <laughs> Oh my gosh, Little Demon? Should we? Do I have that file? No, I'm gonna let- you need to bug Frank for that. Cause I'm too respectful. I'm like, no, bug her. I mean, I love, 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 love Frank, but that's- I'm not gonna play. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. So, what are we gonna do? Let's do the track we were making. Cause Morena? Okay, let's dance. Let's play Morena. This is the request. Moreno by request here on Radio Diva. You want me to hear in this to shift in the face of a threshold? To, 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 to shift in the face of a threshold. Wait, I want to check something. I see, re I see requests. Okay, let's do, let's do requests. Let's do Gallo and Boy Girl. Someone request Boy Girl. The boys want to be me. The girls want to be me. The boys want to be me. The girls want to be me. The boys want to be me. The girls want to be me. The boys want to be me. The girls want to be me. That one. Some sort of unreleased. Wait, my mouse stopped working. I wonder if it's out of battery. Oh. Okay, Cayo. Cayo, let's do. I see Cayo. Let's do three requests. Back to back. Gallo. And then we have the dog song, which is called Pause. Right? We could do that one. Pause. Pa. It's called Pa. Like one pa. I forgot. So let's do Gallo, Pa, and then Medea. Because I see those requests. 
and and I like it. Wait. So let's start it. This is Cayo on Radio Diva. <laughs> Moreno, finishing up. Moreno, you wanna see your... Let me play some. Cayo. Live. On Radio Diva. Experimental. Radio. Oh my god, Wuela, why are you rolling your eyes? Wuela, explain yourself. Explain, we always do those. Oh, Wuela is saying you always do those. Okay, fine, fine. Okay, let's do ones we don't do. Now, all requests are off. I want to do something that you haven't heard. Let's go back to the new song. And I'm just going to say... Touché. I listen. Should I see it? Oh, salt, yes. I am salty because I am here to render a beautiful... <clears throat> no, I want to make everyone happy. I'm, I'm, this is my way. I don't think that there was a, a bad thing. I think you're pushing me to be better. You're pushing me to be like, no, don't always play the same songs. I like it. Like, if you want to hear those other songs, you can... I think Ray has a sound cloud up with a bunch of rips. No, I'm not mad. I'm not mad at anyone. I love the push and f the push and pull and the give and the take. I love it. I I want to play. I want to play. I was taking requests, but also I think I, I you can find them around. Like I rather play stuff that's new for you. In a little bit, I'll play requests. In a little bit, but right now. I just wanna, I'm happy. I enjoy it. Like, don't think that I'm stressing. Oh my god, Ray. Audio pro- I don't know, I thought, Ray, I thought you had one. Okay, well, I'm not doing you like anything. You've been, you've been, I think, yeah, this is true. No, it's my stream, but we share it. Like, I like to hang out. And honestly, like, when I take a request, it's like a big thing, because it's like a long song. It's like three minutes, three minutes of a mood. And it's good to switch it up. It's good to switch it up and, like, not do the same thing. And I mean, I appreciate it. Oh my gosh, you know what I would love to do right now? You know what I would love to do right now? Um, um, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, so, I'm sorry, I was just checking something, um, and I just wanted to say, like, we're just hanging out here, and what are you saying? What's everyone saying? I could do that. I could switch the rhythm up. Let me play some pads. Wait, no, let's play this one. Let's just slow it down a little bit like this. BRB, I'm gonna get something to refresh me. I'm gonna refresh my style. Let me just... Oh my god, Sh Shy Girl? Is that Shy Girl she's following? Let me text Miss Shy. Be like, are you watching the stream? 
Are you? Hi, I'm just gonna test my hey girl. Because I wonder if that's really shy. I love shy. Hi. Alright, let's play the track. I'll be back. Well, I think it was because someone was sharing unreleased songs and she was like having none of it. I think it's I think it was because of that.
I'm back. Yeah, I'm back. Okay, so. What? 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 There's two piano. One hand bit crushed piano like a bet. What do you think? The boy assist. Thank you so much for subbing. Meow. Someone says, "Oh my gosh, I'm going to." Okay. Te pongo la mayonesa fresca, blanca en la mesa. Te la mayonesa un tiro en la cabeza. Te en la cabeza y sabe. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Someone says it's shit time. <laughs> you don't understand. You think I'm full? You're carry. You're so silly. You're so silly. Stop making me laugh. Stop. 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 Okay. I guess this is just giggle for us. Well, make me giggle. Make me giggle while I tell you to stop making me laughing. Just making me laugh. Make me giggle while I tell you to stop making me laugh. That's ideal. Oh my god, this the merch bot is insufferable. I get it, merch bot. Sheesh. Jeez Louise and her chimpanzees. Uh, okay, but anyway. Apex Twin 1 million asking how long I've been streaming for. We've been streaming for two hours. And it doesn't seem to me like we can, we can, we should stretch this out much longer because I'm feeling so relaxed. Let me see something. Let me, let me check something. Because you know we do Radio Viva. Radio, it, it has been a minute. We could go, f no, we could do... Yeah, that's true. The whole time is a transmission. But let me just check something. Let me just check a thing. Uh... It's broken. 
Okay, okay, it only does like a little bit of air, so it's so slow. It's broken. It's not a PAX. It's a battery. I hold the pa the battery up to my... F no, I'm not. It's a battery. I'm just thinking. Sheesh. Everyone is so assumes things. <laughs> Seriously, people are like, what do you do? It's like, God, it's a bad. I'm not. I can't. I can't. Uh, I can't. Yes, when you assume you make an A out of you and me. Oh, oh my gosh. Can you imagine? Stop whipping me, pool party. Stop whipping me. You have just whipped me in front of all my friends, and it is so embarrassing. Somebody says, why that smile then? I don't know, I just liked batteries. Shush. Whatever. I did not freeze my girls. I did not freeze. I did not freeze my girls. I told my girls to jump off a cliff. All these accidents that happen Follow the dot girl A cow wins a dance Makes a seance Only with the you girl You don't have to speak I think yeah. <laughs> Oh my gosh, we're carrying Radio Viva Listen here, Buster. We're gonna make you a star. You hear me, Sonny? Come on over to Hollywood. We'll make you a star, Sonny. Just come and see. Just we're gonna make you a star, Sonny. Yeah, our Sonny, our like a pirate, our Sonny. We're gonna make you a star, Sonny. In a pirate voice. Arr, matey. We're gonna make you a matey. So, okay, I'm laughing. I'm laughing. Wait, let me just do a song. <laughs> okay. Um, so, no, stop telling me what to do. Because I can't stop reading chat. When did she almost play that, huh? Ray, which one? What might, what are you talking about? What are you talking about? Some of you assume. I do have Lost Woman Found. I want to play Lost Woman Found. I know I was giving Woyla battles because I live for Woyla um, about playing requests, but Lost Woman Found is really fun. Thank you, Jodessa. Yeah, because sometimes I feel nerdy. I don't know. Whatever. This is Lost Woman Found with a bit crusher. Let's slow it down, though. Let's slow it down and see how it feels. Lost Woman Found, and you heard it here, exclusively here, on Radio Diva.
looking for a miracle. Radio Viva! A changing kind. A changing kind of miracle. And a changing kind from a world that had once met me with grace. Girl, now I finally have something to say. You can find out on your own what it means to be new friends. What it means to finally recognize. Recognize the alien inside the abject Ew. Iraq. Ray of you. I found a miracle. A changing kind. Ray of you. No, I'm not off. I just wanted to do a dramatic exit. I'm not off to go anywhere. I just wanted to do a, a dramatic exit just to serve. <laughs> like a walk off. <laughs> I'm looking for a Thank you. 
lost the cup. I lost the cup, girl. Yo, Radio Diva. Let me see some ones. I'm putting on a show for you girls. Show me. Show me that you see. Damn, the lip cam. Wait, let me hit you. Radio Diva. Mwah. Mwah. Wait. Mwah. Because who goes off like that on Twitch? Who is giving you double camera visual puns? Who's giving you this? Oh, wait, let me... <laughs> I need to, like, look at the OB. <laughs> oh, wait, was it like that? I like... Girl, you get it. I did it. But anyway... Radio Diva! Coming to you live. Loud. And direct. From the transmission station. It's Radio Diva. I drag it. I drag it and I push it and I pull it. And I let you know. That there's someone on the end of the line. Yeah, the battery hit. And so I want to read to you the Mutant Manifesto. The only place that you will have heard the Mutant Manifesto already is if you are a, a patron. Now, this is the first time I talk about Patreon on Twitch, basically. Because we did the... We did the... It's not about... No, don't, you don't have to join if you want to. If you're broke... Come hang out whenever you and wherever you can. We're here. I'm just letting you know that the moment and place that I was able to share a draft of this manifesto was the Patreon. Now, it's a very simple thing. It's a space where if I know that the girls are li literally willing to put their coins where their mouth is and be like, I live for this project and support me in that direct way, then I know that they're not just like in it for the moment but they actually feel a connection to wanting to support what I do. And that means a lot. That means so much. And it's been overwhelming how positive the response has been to the Patreon. I'm so shocked. If you know, if you joined, and I, then I responded to your private messages because I'm going through all of them. And I'm going to keep doing that for as long as humanly possible because I find that it's such a safe space for me. Because it's like, imagine... Put yourself in my position. It's like the girls that are there and they're like, yes, girl, I'm here and I support the cause and the mission and I'm willing to like produce the content. And you get exclusives. You know what I mean? Like you get exclusives. Thank you, Nose Global for the host. You get exclusive. But basically one of the things that happened was I posted a draft of the manifesto. And the draft of the manifesto consists of basically a few instincts that I've attempted to articulate. And I wanted to read it here, just to test it out. So I'm gonna be adding different drafts of the Mutant Manifesto possibly on the Patreon, so that's the place where I'm like posting it. But for the moment, I just wanted to read it as DLFVN, you saying that you're broke as F and still subbed, I don't take that lightly. Like to me, 10, 10 bucks is coin, like, we're talking a lot, like we're talking 
time it takes time to generate like and so that moment i don't take that for granted one second seriously and jose lucas like the girls that are going off like that it's not a joke because i come from venezuela i come from a third world country I had to, cuando yo quería importar un disco de Japón, yo tenía que convencer a mi papá a decirle que era mi regalo de cumpleaños y de Navidad también. My dad be like importing a J-pop album and Bolívares were so weak compared to the dollar and everything else. So I know how it feels. I know the struggle and I always want to make merch and things that are as cheap as possible. That's why I make the stickers. It's three dollars. That's the cheapest item I could make like this like simple because I want the girls in Venezuela to be like, well, I want to get something, but I can't get the, you know, but like, I just want to give options and access to the world and to the moment and to the mood. Like I think about all that just so you know. So to read a little bit of this, this is the Mutant Manifesto. Um, it's changing over time. To scan the horizon of the unconscious, to soften the focus of ego, so as to allow light in, to shift both... Wait, let me start over. I added the word both. I'm freestanding. To scan the horizon of the unconscious, to soften the focus of ego so as to allow... Wait, let me do one more time. I just want to take a sip. One moment. Here we go. Mutant Manifesto. Draft version 0 0.01. To scan the horizon of the unconscious, to soften the focus of ego so as to allow light in, to shift in the face of a threshold, to transmute, to push against any rigid state of self, to hope into a focused point, a beam, a vector, to penetrate the boundary between the lucid and all dream states, to apply one's own will and carve out space within the psyche so that softness can be found, to perceive the experience of feeling alive time and time again at any given moment. In virtue of fear and the entanglement of spirit and flesh, a semi-permeable matrix in a slow dance. <gasps> Thank you for the sub, Kujak. A semi-permeable matrix in a slow dance, a morphing across space-time, Recognition of the alien inside. The curious encouraged by beauty as a form of sentience. The ideal alchemy of the abject into love. The innermost. To nurture the mutation of the id as a mirror. A variation in pulse width, an ever-oscillation, self-aware. Conscious of mystery, both bound and hidden, are by movement across direct dimensions. Faith transcendence as a mobile strip. The silent cycling of ever-morphing forms, once thought to be impossible. Lovingly. Arrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrr
That's cute. Let's see. What are we going to do? We're going to do a mano. This is a piano moment. Because let's do full rainbow. Wait, let's see. Let's just relax a little bit and have an ASMR moment. We can go to Mallorca anytime. By the way, mommy has been in heels all day. That's right, mommy has been in heels for you the whole stream. That's what she wants to give. Now let me tell you one thing. I want to. If you want to support me and... Someone said, if you want to support me, where do I go? Patreon, point blank. So here's the situation. I don't want to stop streaming, but the commitment between like what it costs to sub to tw on a tw on, to tw on the twitch channel or just a direct patreon like direct patreon changes in my life way more directly oh my gosh way more and also just know that i mean i might not always do twitch but right now i like it i like twitch but like i might do patron only um streams and just ask anyone that's into wanting to tune in and but they don't do any other subs on twitch like they could just come to the patreon and there will be patron only subs i'm thinking about it because i don't want to ask people to, to do too many things I, but if there's only one thing i should i can want to ask it would be the patreon that one changes my life like because it's like recurring and it's like so it's like a fan club it's direct i don't have to there's no amazon involved you know amazon owns twitch i don't have any shade against whatever but like patreon is just like a small it's a community it's more of a community but yeah for whatever that's worth it's just a situation where we just want to do a little bit of asmr i still want to do this with you i still want to do this Thank you, Angelito. It means a lot to me to you know that that literally changes my life, no lie. Literally, it changes my life, no lie. Like, I didn't even think it was possible to have that much of a direct connection with people that were into what I was doing. So, the past month, between the launch of the first time that I've met, I've never done merch before. This is the first time, so literally. I waited so long, I didn't ever want to put a price tag to what it meant to get close to the world of Arca. I wanted it to be free for everyone. It literally took the fact of like every concert getting cancelled for me to like figure out that I was just maybe not being open to a form of allowing people to just engage with the thing that I do in a way that could be fun for everyone and symbiotic and maybe it could mean something. So basically it took me that long and it took a situation of crisis for me to allow myself to open up to the fact that there wasn't anything inherently wrong or overcapitalistic in making merch because I was being so ridiculous about it. I haven't even wanted to do festivals when the logo was too big on the stage. And now it's like, girl, maybe before there was a situation where you could have that moment, but actually at the moment it's not even a choice. Like, I'm just trying to keep practice pure so reaching out directly to everyone supposed something of an adventure or a risk that i felt i was taking and i'm so glad that i decided to do it because the support i have felt has been overwhelming and has given me so much strength to launch into the kick era with a new energy a new light a new haircut a new style a new look a new serve We came through. Um, it's been crazy. It has. It has been crazy. 
thank you for nurturing me. You have always been so nurturing. It's 12.29 p.m. here. Yeah, Ray's Twitter is fab. Ray's Twitter is fab. But you know what? I think the biggest thing is the Discord. Because aside from the moment of all the support, the Discord is a place that made me feel less isolated. The Discord is really the main thing to me. Like, that's free and that's secure. You know what I mean? Like, that's so special. It's really the Discord. Girl, somebody says, Ray, Ray says, no, no. Yeah, no, Ray, you are. Cholasa, no. Um, Ray is like, no, I am not. Well, Ray, let's talk like Ray. Ray, I see you. We're considering a role for Ray. A role just for Ray, and the role is called Ray. That's a new thing. Yeah, Discord is cool. That's very cool. Yeah, that's very, very cool. And I think it's very fun how nice it feels in the Discord. Basically. Oh my gosh, Brother Ivory, that's beautiful. That's so beautiful. Okay, wait. I am me. That's it. Discord is as self-hosted and open source as as possible. Like, what do you mean? It's so open source, it's so free, and it's so easy on phone, on laptop, it's free. You just pick a username and you're there. Like, how, what more open source could it be? It's so fab. It's secure, it's not owned by a corporation, it's not being mined by anyone. It allows for people to just to figure out their own ways of relating to one another based on a subject or a server. And, it is wait what do you mean it's proprietary tell me the tea i used to be on irc i used to be on irc it just reminds me of irc i really am irc i the reason discord felt natural to me is because i was on mirc yeah mirc that was the client i used i love irc basically discord is as close as you can get to it where else is it? Where else do you find that mood of being able to chat in real time with strangers arranged around a subject and a topic and to not have that stranger have like an extensive profile? You know, you don't know much about them. All you know is that they're online when you're online and there's a topic and there's a server and there's a channel and you're, you know, it's, it's like iconic because it's like Everywhere else is like comments, even Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, you just leave the comments and otherwise the chat is one on one that you can do real. One. But come on, good girls, bad habits. Alex just gifted like a hundred million subs. It's crazy. Alex, you went off. You wait, let me go. You went off. Um, let me, um, let me put this one back here. Yeah, that sounds good. Yeah, like that. Have the camera that feels good, like, right there. This one looks ghostly. This face looks ghostly. This one looks more glam. You see how the body, this one looks ghostly? It's because it's more overexposed. That's kind of cool. Wait, wait, oh my gosh. There's a spirit behind me, don't you dare. Wait, wait, oh my god. I'm being so <laughs> inappropriate. I'm being so silly. Aaron, you're cool, you're, you're cool son. Are you from Iceland, Aaron, you're cool son? Are you from Iceland? Tell us. Tell us. 
Bye, asquito. Bye, bebé. Mi bebecito mutante. Ratatatats. Don't say la llorona, Roy. I will, f I will freak out. Is the ID related to Discord? ID article related to Discord and Twitch? ID article? Excuse me? How do you know about the ID article? Excuse me? The ID article that I did a shoot with Jurgen Teller with? Oh, maybe I told you. Ew! I'm just kind of coming. Wait, I know I told you. Imagine. Oh my god! I do mention it. I do mention it. I do mention the Discord. I'm like, look. Discord is a community where you can be free and be one with the server and that's a beautiful feeling. ¿Qué quieres que te cuente de mi infancia en Venezuela? ¿Quieres que te cuente que fui traviesa? Que me porté... Bueno, en verdad sacaba buenas notas, pero hablaba mucho en clase. Mi mamá me decía... La profesora... Yo llegaba, me venía a buscar al colegio y la profesora le decía a mi mamá... Cuando mi mamá venía a buscar, porque yo estaba en el transporte del colegio, yo me iba en el transporte con como ocho personas. Que los papás eran los únicos que no tenían choferes. Yo era una de las ocho carajas que no tenía chofer. Y iba al colegio privado, pero sin chofer. Bueno, eso. Entonces yo iba en el autobús del colegio. Y me recuerdo de algunas carajas y unos carajos que estaban en el transporte. Era un chalequeo. Pero me dejaban de último. En ese momento, último. Me dejaban de... Me, yo vivía lejísimo. Me buscaban primero y me dejaban de último. Tú puedes imaginarte esa verga. Me dejaban primero... Me dejaban, me dejaban, me buscaban primero, me buscaban que sea a las 5 de la mañana, marica. Me buscaban a las 5 de la mañana, ¿ok? Y me dejaban como a las 3 de la tarde, o sea, mi día era más largo que el de cualquiera. Solo por vivir lejísimo del colegio y no tener chofer, ni mi mamá ni mi papá venían a buscar ni me llevaban. Era como alguien que trabajaba con el colegio y los que no tenían como para llevar a sus chamos, nadie podía conducir. Porque mi mamá no me podía llevar y mi papá no, no me podía llevar a veces. Bueno, eso era una locura. Y yo me llevaba plata para la cantina. Yo no llevaba comida de casa. Llevaba... Siempre quería tener cosas ricas. Pero no podía tener... Yo a él le pedía a mi, a mi amiga Antonella. Antonella, ¿tu mamá me puede hacer por favor un sándwich? De almuerzo y Antonella le preguntaba a su mamá y venía el próximo día y decía, y decía no mi mamá dice que no puedo hacerte el almuerzo a ti solo me puedo hacer el almuerzo a mí porque es mi mamá y yo como que ok radio diva
Ada. What? I need it. I know. I'm carrying. Yeah. <laughs> no, because the girl. <laughs> the girl. <laughs> Wait. Mm -mm. Hush. Hush in the chat. Hush in the chat right now. I don't want to see the chat. Stop chatting. Stop chatting. No chats. Stop it. Stop chatting. Silence in the chat. Excuse me, can I please see silence in the chat? Silence in the chat. Right now. Right now. Silence in the chats. Oh my gosh, who is... Oh my god, wait. Wait. One second. Okay, done. I see Rey and Perra del Futuro, you are icons. Rey and Perra del Futuro, you are icons. You are the best, chihuahuas. You are the best. I see the ones that are like silent. La Villana Aking, best chihuahua. Blonde cover, bad chihuahua. Audio brut, bad chihuahua. Okay. I, I'm like, dreamy, bad chihuahua. Jose Lucas, good chihuahua. Okay. Yeah. Cholazo, bad chihuahua. She work, bad chihuahua. Le okay. Why? Because I'm seeing how you acted when I'm issue an order, when I give an order. I'm seeing who's being good and who's being bad. I'm seeing who's being good and who's being bad. And now this is what happens. That's what happens. Are you, it's too late now. Now I don't wanna, now I'm not gonna shout out the girls that are saying silence now. It's too late. It's who said it, it's who was behaving good. And I need to know who are the good Good, the teacher's pets, who are they? I'm finding out. I'm finding out. And it turns out that I see the class clowns and the rebels in here. Trust me, I'm not neglecting you. I know you want special attention of your own. Trust me. I, do, I want you to speak for yourselves. I don't think that it's, I don't think the class clowns are worse than the teacher pets, but I see you. I'm seeing you. Right. I see the girls that are silent. I see the girls that are, not, are saying that they're not saying anything. I see the girls keyboard smashing. I see the, the tricksters. I see the shy girls. I see the shy boys. Special attention. Yes. Yes, audio prut. You went class clown. You were like, you can never tell me what to do. And I was like, oh, so you want to have a problem with authority because right now we're having have fun. Shy days. Cats, are, cats are, can be annoying. But let me tell you something. It's all in good fun, but just know that I know. And there are rewards and treats for the girls that behave well and for the ones that want to behave bad. The ones that want to relinquish the treat because they want to be bad. You got your own special reward. But that's what I'm saying. You're going to be that girl. I'm going to let you know that you're being that girl. Here you go. Andres, I am. I'm being dumb. I'm being dominant. Sometimes I like to crack my own whip back. Why do you think that the sub sound is a whip crack? I've toured the world playing concerts with a whip. The, f the way the, the show starts, I start cracking a whip. I live for whip moments. I live for chihuahuas. I live for discipline. Discipline! Radio Viva! And if you behave good, then you get the best, the most sweetest, sweetest caresses. The most softest, sweetest caresses behind the ear that you can imagine. Radio Diva. So basically, we're hanging out. Also, safe words. Yes, <laughs> safe words forever. I'm never going to betray your trust. I might make mistakes. I might misunderstand. I might assume I might make mistakes. But I will never betray your trust. You let me know. Don't be too shy. There's always a safe word. I respect everyone. 
that because I respect myself, even people who disagree with me, even people who are shady, even people who try me, especially people who try me, that's the girls that I'm like, you know what? No, I respect myself. That's how I deal with battles. That's why I'm such a dignified queen. Well, I know that you know that I'm very dignified. I know that you know that I don't respond to s silly haters. I respond very rarely. Very rarely. I, I see with my two eyes. You think I'm blind? You think I'm blind, girl? No, I'm just... You remember, you know what? Michelle Obama once said, when they go low, we go high. That's a quote worth remembering, girl. That's a quote worth remembering. Radio Diva! But you know what? Sometimes you have to read. And sometimes you have to sonic boom the girls in the face. I wish it weren't the case, but... With all that, like, craziness about my dad, like, on Twitter... Wait, you think I'm not gonna address it? Honestly... I read War Criminal. I was like, my dad is so vanilla sub. I was low-key like, wait, the dad that I was gagging was so vanilla sub? Is the, the girl that's getting called a war criminal? That's hilarious. Like, I might actually have to clear this up. Radio Diva! Because at some point in time, I was like, okay, no, now it's Karen. Now you're just letting serve and have. Like, you imagine my dad as, like, the trade. Like, like being, like, so hard. Like, so evil. I'm like, bitch. Let me tell you one thing. Sorry I said the B word. It's a personal subject. Here, here we go. My dad actually was like, I would talk to him. He's like, I was like, I was such a bad kid. I was like, wait. So everyone is corrupt. Like, you know so many people that is corrupt, right? And he's like, yes. And I was like, why don't you do it? He's like, because I don't believe in it. Because I have my values. So as much as I want to battle my, da my dad sometimes, like he high key was such a c correct and proper person in a third world country. He is so generous and so cares so much about the people around him and in his community of all classes. You know, he shows love to so, in so many ways. And he always raised me with that. And I was like, when I saw the, the made up rumors, I was like, okay, I could ignore it. But it, it's just like the opposite of what was actually the situation. Like, I did go to a private school, but I was not the, the girls with money in the school. I was like, damn, I wish I had the shoes that the coins girls have. You know, I'm not saying that I don't have my own privilege. I recognize it. I recognize the opportunities and the luck that I've had. I got to study in the States. But let me tell you something. I slipped through the gates. The year after I went to go study, the Venezuelan government, they basically were like, okay, no more arts girls. We can't supply Bolivares for... Um, any more arts girls. Only doctors and engineers that want to study abroad can can buy do dollars. Oh, yeah, that's the gag. In Venezuela, you couldn't just turn your body rights into dollars. You needed to go through the government. They one day decided, like, oh, yeah, we're the only people you can buy dollars from. So you can either buy dollars from the government, which they decided how much to let everyone buy. Think about this for a second. Or you could buy dollars in the black market, but you cannot pay for college for your kid on with government subsidy through the black market. So every semester I needed to apply to Cadivi. I used to go to the embassy of Venezuela every semester. One time I went, right, before going home for Christmas, and I was like, I had an appointment. They were like, we're not doing appointments anymore. We're, it's Christmas. And my friend, who is a girl, was like, we're not doing appointments anymore. It's Christmas, right next to me. But the guy that works at the embassy was like, but I'll give you an appointment if you dance with me. I was like, bitch, dance with him. Get your student visa renewed for the semester. And she danced with him and she got her appointment. I had to come back after New Year's. I had to come back after New Year's without knowing. It was such a serve. Venezuela is lawless. Lawless. Absolutely lawless. And I've never talked about this. But you know what? Because I didn't want to. But honestly, like, you need to know. When people were like, yeah, the dad is a war criminal. I was like, girl... 
I'm going to embassies and getting served because I can't Christmas dance my way into getting my passport stamped for the semester. It's not Hogwarts. Radio Diva! So we have 10 minutes left. I'm going to call this. I'm going to end the stream because the tea is piping hot. Um, I'm going to in 10 minutes, in, in five minutes, let's do one more song. Wait, 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 wait. Audio Brit says, oh, no, I love uh, Audio Brit. You're so beautiful. No, you're not being a clown. I'm being a clown sometimes. Audio Brit, you're so special. Out of all the fans, out of all the girls that have supported the cause, your username for so long and with so much love and audio bro is the you're the look the ddr the mutant faith i see you i see you and you're and you're in the discord you're playing minecraft i see you i see you i see you around uh, yeah audio bro period it's a uh, audio bro do you have a request before we end the stream today do you have a, re a song that you would like to request this is the last song of the stream yeah, because I see it. I see the shyness. Come on, Audio Bro. No, mommy, do whatever you want. Okay, Audio Bro, I'll play a song. So this song goes out to Audio Bro. I see, I see, I see. And Audio Bro says, no, mommy, do whatever you want. That's such a sweet answer. Okay, well, let me play this. Let me play something. I want to play Mallorca. Someone requested it earlier, and I was thinking it's a beautiful, positive vibe song. And it's a nice song to end the stream on, and I've had such a wonderful time. Thank you so much to everyone that's been here. Thank you to Alex. You've donated so many subs today. Thank you for so much love. Thank you for so much magic. Thank you to everyone. All the... Sorry, all the girls that were here, I see you. Oh my God, the Charlasses, the Ray, the Invitro Omo, the Malvibrada, the Napa Langs, the Ruben, the Bubbly Puss, the Andras, the, Ma the Theodore, the Blanc Cobra, the Artipi, the Miss Asapi, the Diao Yan, the Unknowns, the, the, the Oscar, the Jose Lucas, the Rick, the Marco, the, uh, all the girls. I see all the girls. Trust me. I'm, I see it. And so now, live on Radio Diva. A song I made called Mallorca and I named it Mallorca because it had to do with my favorite vacation in the world. Um, I went with Carlos. If you want you can DM Carlos and remind him that we had the plan to go to Mallorca again because I would love to go again. Oh my gosh, I'm spilling so much tea. So yeah, I named it Mallorca because it was the best vacation I've ever had. I went with Carlos. It was so beautiful.
Have a beautiful night, everybody. I love you.